Hello, welcome to Asher's Nightcrypt here, and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I got some very unfortunate news. Halloween Kills will unfortunately be delayed. Due to COVID, Halloween Kills will be delayed to 2021. And we did get a teaser trailer that kind of hold us back because they're not exactly sure when they will be releasing the official trailer because of COVID. They want to release the trailer around the time that COVID is no longer around and people could go to theaters. Man, COVID took one thing that I was really looking forward to this year and it really sucks. But I will be reacting to the teaser trailer because I have not watched it yet. I will be reacting with Don Bala Studios. You guys may know him, he's appeared in some of my videos. Go check him out. I'll leave a link down the description below. He's trying to post more on his channel, so please give him that sub. But on to the reaction. All right, let's do it. Look, it's like the Halloween 2 pumpkin. Yeah, it kind of does. And the burning house. Oh shit! Oh, oh, that was oh, oh shit. shit! Wait, I think he's a little. His mask is a little yeah, his, burnt. Yeah, his thing was yeah, his face was burned. I saw that picture because someone sent it earlier. Let's look, see, look I'm, at gonna, that. I'm gonna see if I could slow it down a bit. Oh yeah, yeah oh. it's burned. Oh, dude, that it's was like crazy. Inferno. That's awesome. Like that was like a small portion, but that got me hyped. October fifteenth, twenty twenty one. That's sad to hear. That it's gonna be be delayed to the fifteenth of October next year. But I mean, it's the most they could do because they want to be they want to be able to to show this in theaters. So I mean, I'm not gonna fall too much. Yeah, I'm gonna mess. go. I'm gonna see this in theaters. Like man, that. I know that was like just a small portion of the movie, but man, that got me so hyped. I cannot wait. Literally, like, they're telling, they're pretty much just screaming to let him burn, dude. That's, man, that, I, I can't wait to see this. This is going to be said, she, I don't know if he said, uh, not he, he, she said, let it burn or let him burn. Instead of like, let him burn. Go back to the pumpkin, though. Looks like the Halloween 2 one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. That's dope. Halloween 2. Man, I can't wait. Like, I know that it got delayed and stuff, but, man, I I can't even be mad. Like, they gave us at least something, and I I appreciate it. I really do. And then after that, Halloween Kills come out. I mean, Halloween Ends is coming out. Oh, yeah, That's Halloween good. Ends. I can't wait for that one. I wonder if it's going to be, this is going to take place in the hospital. Someone looks dead here. I think it's just a, it looks like a smashed pumpkin. Yeah, smashed pumpkin or it looks like a dead person. It could, it could be, be the, that. It could be that boyfriend guy. Could be that guy, the boyfriend. Remember, he's wearing like a hat and some shit. He wears something like that. That was fucking awesome. I cannot wait for Halloween Kills. I know it's just a small portion, but they at least gave us something. And actually, there's a little statement from Jason Blum himself that I'm about to read. I read and I quote: "Halloween Kills, July eighth, twenty twenty." We write this to you heartbroken over the fact that the delay of our film is even a decision. Over the past few weeks, our family has looked at the forecast of theatrical exhibition with obvious concern. We have discussed and struggled with how to present Halloween Kills to the local fans around the world, as well as new audiences we hope to invite to this experience. It was a wild and vibrant production. We lined up a cast of legacy characters like Lori and Tommy, Lindsay, Lonnie, Marion, Brackett, and The Shape. Then alongside some new faces, we aggressively made the second chapter of our Halloween trilogy. If we release it in October of this year as planned, we have to face the reality that the film would be consumed in a compromised theatrical experience. We are sound mixing with one of the greatest design teams 
that can slash, scream, and creep their way under your skin. We're going to have time to complete the film with the quality that fans deserve and preparation on Halloween Ends has begun as well. We look forward to sharing our next chapters with you, David Gordon Green and John Carpenter. So I guess that was more from them than Jason Blum, but, but you guys get it, it's pretty much him saying it too. It's overall sad that this film is going to be getting this away, because I was really looking forward to this this year, I was so hyped, but what can you do? I do agree with the delay because, yeah, it's good. The, the experience will be compromised because of COVID. And so I do agree with this delay, even though I don't like it, it has to be done. Because I want to see this film in theaters. I want to be able to enjoy it on the big screen. I can't fault them for going down this route. I mean, literally, like I said, they had no choice. I can't wait to see the film, though. The film will be badass. And they're also preparing Halloween Ends. So, I mean, there's that to look forward to when that comes out, too. I can't wait to see Halloween Ends. That's going to be awesome. And before I end off this video, I have a few things from an article I want to talk about. In this article, John Carpenter has a few things to say. And I want to read those things real quick. I read and I quote, The cut is done. They'll mix it in New York in the next week or so. Then it will be in the can. My work is all done, the horror master told the site. The movie is something else. It's fun, intense, and brutal. A slasher movie times 100. Big time. It's huge. Now just from hearing that, it's, it's get my stiffy a little bit hard. But just wait until I read next. He then added... I've never seen anything like this. The kill count. Oh snap, I got a big ass boner now. I love me some kills in movies. And I love when they're gruesome. I love seeing creative kills. Man, this got me stiffy so hard right now. I can't wait. The next point of interest comes from David Gordon Green. And hear what he has to say. The first one was more about Lori's life of isolation after Michael and her attempts at revenge. It was personal. This is more about the unraveling of a community into chaos. It's about how fear spreads virally. So we got that little snippet of information from where the plot's gonna go in Halloween Kills. But that will be all for today's video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content and definitely subscribe to become a slasher. All social media links and my merch down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching my video on Halloween Kills. This video will most likely be out like a day late and I apologize for that because I did get a late head start to making this video. More Halloween Kills updates to come but I'm out of here and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget guys to keep on slashing.